All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, power functions and their properties. Uh, you may be familiar with this, but uh, you probably haven't really learned why you, you're using these and like how you just probably memorize what they are. Like that's what I used to do before, and because they never really taught in school. So I'll show you what um, they are actually. Let's say you have this is by definition. Let's say x to the a mean the, all this means this is a number. This is let's say a, a variable. Uh, x to the a or a constant. X to the a all it means is you have x times x times x times x and it keeps going on. And let's say this is one. This is term two. This is terms three, four, all the way till term a. Yeah, so that's all you're doing for, and then also there's the definition of property of it. By definition, well, that's also this by definition. Uh, x to the zero equals one. So then, if you have two to the zero, it equals one, and and so on. But uh, zero to zero, this is uh, tricky, and I'll explain this, and and this. In, a, in, in another video, I'll go into detail. This is actually very interesting. I, I don't think you really know, know why it's that. I've just probably have to memorize it. So let's say, um, well, let's go to here. So uh, let's say we have 2 to the power of 4. This would just be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals, this is 4, 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 equals, this is a 16. What you could actually do here is, uh, this could also be written as 2 times 2. 2 to the power of 2 times 2. Let me just uh, fix this. And it's a two, t uh, 2 times. This is a times. You can do this separate with a bracket. This is 4. This becomes 4, this whole thing. So you get 4 to the squared, and then you'll have 4 times 4 again equals 16. So when what actually happens, um, you could actually apply it to um, this in general. You you can have so then instead of just two two to two, you have x a times b. This just becomes x a and then b. Or you could even switch it around. What you could actually do is just x b and then a. So you do the power of this and then do that. It doesn't matter. So that that's a simple way of, of showing it. Yep. So now let's uh, go through some more properties of it. Let's say we had um, x to the, let's say, yeah, just x2. Yeah, what you could actually do, this if you separate this apart, this will just be x. Uh, yeah, this is 1 plus 1. Yeah, so the top, they're just added together, or you can go from here to here. You just have x. This would be x, x times x. And then this actually has a one there, so one, so that this adds together. So, so you can see this. This equals to this, and and if you go to uh, if you generalize it, you could you actually have this. You have x a plus b would just equal to x a times x b. Okay. So let's say we have um, something like this x. 3 divided by x2. If we just apply a definition, we'll have x times x times x divided by x times x. So that's only 2, that's 3. And you see this, this, this cancels. So these, this just cancels. So you're left with x or x to the 1, same thing. And then what also, what then, then what you get actually here, you can actually just subtract the top and bottom. So x3 minus 2 equals x1 so in this actually if you generalize it, this is actually true for anything so you can have so if you have x a divided by x b then this just equals to x a minus b to the power of okay All right, so let's say you if, if you take this and if, let's say a was zero so if a was zero then you're gonna just have x to the zero over x b and this is just equal to 1 by definition. So you have x, b. Or if you apply, put this one in there, you'll have x, 0, minus b. So then this, is, this will just equal to x minus b. So from this, we can get another generalization. Uh, we can get, yeah, so x minus b is just equal to 1 over x, b. Yep, yep. So let's say if we had something with fractions, actually, let's say x to the a to the one over two, 
this can actually just be written as some people write this as um, square root x or some even do x2 and uh, what this what you could actually do here no uh, well actually what, what this actually means is um, so what, what this is saying is uh, a number so let's say a number times um, just uh, erase this number times uh, this is a number times itself equals x so if you had let's say example 4 to the power 1 over 2 so a number times itself equals 4 is just 2 because 2 times itself equals 4 and based on this number so if you had say 9 1 3 then you would just go this would be a number times itself times itself and this would just be 3 so it could be 3 times 3 times 3 equals equals 9 uh, oh, sorry, we made a mistake here. This is um, not nine. This is twenty-seven. Let's erase this. So this is actually twenty-seven. My bad. So yeah, so twenty-seven. So three times three times three equals twenty-seven. So that's basically all this, all what this is saying. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just uh, write this, and this is by definition. Okay. And then uh, let's say we had a function like this. Here's how you could actually use it in multiplication or division. Let's say you had something like this, 1 divided by x times root x. So yeah, you can see they're, they're just different um, to the powers of. I'll, I'll show you. Here's the long way you could, so you could just simplify this. So what you could actually do is let's make this have a fraction. So by all we do there is we'll just square the bottom and square root it and this is this is actually just um, so you'll have squared and then divided by 2 so this cancels is just gonna be the same so from here you could see that 1 over x equals 1 over square root x so I'm not really changing anything I'm just making it so you get up um, then this is times root x, root x just so you can have roots in the common thing in a common in a denominator and a numerator. This is a numerator, uh, anyways. So then, if you uh, put all this inside this, what you get, what this actually happens is, yeah, I'll just uh, let's say if you have this, what all this means is, say, you'll simplify to this, and you can actually put the whole thing into the bracket. This is um, yeah. So you can actually do this, and then this would just one of the x will cancel because you'll have x over x times x then this cancels and you're left with square root 1 over x and remember what this was by definition this is just 1 over x uh, 1 over 2 and then you could actually s put them in together what, when you have this what you actually can do is it will be 1 to the 1 over 2 and and then you'll have the bottom is 1 over 1 over 2 and this is 1, so a, a number times itself has to equal this. This is going to be 1 always. Equals 1 because 1x one is always 1. Always. This is a d definition and it just looks like it. Yep. Always true. Yep. So and then, here's, then you're just left with 1 over x minus 2. And from that other... Um, other uh, property we found, you just put this on the top and it will just be x negative 1 over 2. I'll just, uh, just uh, rewrite this one better. So 1 over 2. So we got from 1 over x root x equals to x 1 over 2. We simplified it. But we could actually just even go to the easy way. That was a long way. What we could actually do is just uh, rearrange both of them into that power um, power property we saw. So then the 1 over x would just be x to negative 1. Because that's all this is. This is power of 1. But then I flip it over. So negative 1 times this one is just x 1 over 2. And then I can actually add these up together. So you'll have negative 1 plus 1 over 2. 
and then and and one over one plus one over two. This is if you use a common denominator. This would be just equal to negative two over two plus one over two, and then you're just left with if you add them, it's negative two plus one, negative one over two. So you're left with negative one over two. So you can see this is the same as this. So we just did the easy way. That's the easy way, just applying the rules right away. And we in, and or you could do the long way by making this look like this, so you could put them in the same summation. All right, now um, let's lo take a look at uh, let's just an example. And this one will actually be uh, really. This one would be let's say three point two. So this one is not a full number that we've been using or a fraction like that uh, but uh, so to solve to get an idea of what this value would be or how we would solve it we would just try to get rid of this decimal so get rid of that so this would just be equal to three I'll just um, I'll just write it down here so that's the example uh, and then if you want to solve this will be we'll just simplify it so three uh, two um, okay, so three and two and then this would just equal what we could do. This is just a fraction of three thirty-two over ten. So all you do is times ten by top and divide by ten. So I'm not really doing anything. So I get rid of that decimal. So then this, if we, we use that um, that other other stuff we did, yeah. So you, from here you could uh, you could do it either this way. Um, let's say thirty-two over and then then do this one over ten. Actually, um, I'm gonna. Yes, yeah, you could do it this way, then, and, and you understand that. Let me just uh, put this back here. So one over ten. So you could do the uh, three to the thirty-two, uh, and then you'll f then you'll have to see a number that times itself. Thirty-two times is this. But this is actually you could do it this way if you just kind of gets an idea of what it is. But this is actually a hard way to visualize it. I'll do a second way, better way. Let's go better way. Because this one, I, I don't know what three times three times all the way to thirty-two is. What you actually do is, uh, you can actually break this apart. That's one way we're doing. Let's go three to three over two. This just equals to three to the three plus point two. That's all I'm doing. And then this, if we know our other uh, rules, well, this is just three to the three times three to the point two. And then we know, let's go to 3 over 3 is equal to 9. And this is 3. So we're just breaking it up. 3 and point 0.2. So point 0.2, this just equals to, if I times 10, and divided by 10, this equals to 3, uh, yeah, 2 over 10, or 3, 1, 5. So we need a number, a number... I'll just write it down like this. What we'll need, let's say, a, a times a times a times a, has to equal to three. And from this, we know that in order to get to three, it has to be greater than one. So greater a is greater than one, because one times one times one is is just gonna be equal to one. And it's less than two. Well, we know two times two times two times two five is gonna be much bigger than that. So it's between. So it's gonna be less than one. A is less than less than two. It's actually less than one point five as well. So you could see that it, it's it has to be close to one, but a bit bigger than one so that it's it gets to three. Has because one point five times one point five and whatnot. It could be somewhere there. So if we were actually let's go back here. This is uh wrong here. This is wrong. This is actually twenty seven. I made a mistake. Uh, sorry about that. So if you apply this. So then we'll get here, if we simplify it, we'll get 3 to the 3 times 3.2. This just equals to 27 times, this is, uh, I think, roughly 1, or a bit, bit bigger. So around 1 something, 1 point, I don't know, 1. Oh, and then so then this roughly would be 30, I think. So roughly 30. But let's say we put it into the uh, calculator. Okay, so let's uh, drag this calculator in here. I'll just uh, simple make this go back to it. Okay, so let's put this in. We'll go three to the power of three point two equals yeah. So thirty three 
Yeah, so it equals to 33.363. And I'll, yeah, so you could see that we were uh, pretty close just by uh, using our logic and breaking apart based on the properties that I showed. So this is just, just equals 33.63. Um, All right, well, uh, hopefully uh, you learned something about powers. I'll show in another video, um, I'll, I'll go through why x to 0 equals 1 and then explain 0 to the 0 what this would be. Or uh, Well, thanks for uh, tuning in and um, hopefully you enjoyed. So, uh, yep, tune in for another math easy solution.